Hi, it's Mark from Top Local Lead Generation. We're here this morning with Mr. Bernie Pollock of Pollock Automotive. Pollock is an award-winning uh, auto repair and auto maintenance shop in Vancouver, BC. How are you doing today, Bernie? Excellent. Excellent. So we're going to talk about TDIs, one of my favorites. Uh, and Volkswagen is pretty famous for their TDIs. Uh, what makes it so special? Well, that's a great question. Um, I think there's a couple of reasons. Um, but first, let's talk a bit of history about uh, TDIs and Volkswagens. So the TDI engines, they were first introduced in 1989 by Audi. Um, TDI basically means turbo direct injection. It's nothing really fancy, just a, it has a turbocharger and the injection goes directly into the cylinder as opposed to into a pre-chamber, which a lot of diesels at the time had. Uh, most modern diesels are really TDI, but that's Volkswagen's kind of term. Um, so the early systems use mechanical pumps, but they've evolved into the engines that we have today with the, in uh, nine, 2009, they went with the piezoelectric injectors, common rail system. These uh, injectors, they can deliver up to five injection events per uh, combustion stroke. And um, it's amazing technology because this is what gives the diesels their quiet running, uh, lower emissions, less smoke. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's amazing. They're powerful, they're peppy. So the Volkswagen Auto Group, which, which includes Audi and Volkswagen, they've always made good diesels for decades. They've also sold a lot of them in the North American market and it's not a particularly favorable market to diesels. For some reason people in North America don't really like diesels, which I'll go into in a minute. Um, but the, other, you know, the only other manufacturer that seems to have had a consistent line of diesels in North America is Mercedes-Benz, and they too have made very good diesels for a long, long time. As I was saying, in North America, I mean, people traditionally don't like diesels because they're noisy, they blew smoke, uh, they stank. Uh, the fuel was more challenging to find. Not as many stations had it. The diesel engine did, however, have a couple of distinct advantages. Excellent fuel economy and simple maintenance. You know, but if you go back a few decades, cars required regular tune-ups, but diesels didn't. Um, in Europe, diesel has always been very popular because fuel has been much more expensive. Uh, so people look for uh, economical alternatives. As time has changed, uh, our fuel is much more expensive. Maybe not at the moment, but it'll get back up there, unfortunately, at some point. Um, and the diesels have evolved. They're quiet. They don't stink. There's no more clouds of smoke. And Volkswagen, which has always been at the forefront of diesel cars, um, was a perfect choice for people who wanted to buy diesels because uh, they're well developed and they make good cars. So, so that's a great bit of history. Um, but let's talk about what you know best: uh, repairs, service. What happens to these engines? Well, as I mentioned, diesels have evolved, but their maintenance requirements have really stayed the same, and this is true for TDIs as well as other diesels. Of course, oil and oil filter changes are required, uh, fuel filter changes, and air filter changes. These are really all that you need to do on a diesel. Uh, the one difference with TDIs, uh, VW diesels, they all use timing belts, so they need to be changed at the recommended interval. The maintenance at the prescribed interval is really important on any engine, but especially with diesels. Uh, anything like a, a drop of water that gets into the fuel injection system, if it gets into the injectors, the injection pump just wreaks havoc and it'll cost a fortune to fix. So you want to make sure that you, that never happens. So changing fuel filters uh, religiously is important. Um, as I mentioned, TDIs use timing belts. Uh, if they break, catastrophic engine damage will occur. So you need to make sure you change the timing belts at the prescribed interval. There are various intervals for different engines, so you need to just consult the uh, Volkswagen specs to find out when to do yours. So what goes wrong with TDIs? I mean, overall, they're really reliable. They have some glow plug issues. Um, occasionally, we've had issues with turbochargers. Now, many times, it's not actually the turbocharger itself, but uh, they use an electronic actuator on a lot of turbochargers. The actuators go bad. It's all a, a one-piece unit, so you have to buy the turbocharger, which makes for kind of a pricey repair. Fortunately for the Volkswagens, they're not too expensive when compared to uh, Mercedes and, and other brands. Um, another thing that happens on TDIs is pretty common over the history of these vehicles is that they get carbon deposits in the intake system, and sometimes so bad that you can't even, uh, the engine will barely run up a hill. So it's a matter of carbon out. It's a bit time consuming, but not a you know huge job. So that's basically the problems that we see with TDIs. So I already own a TDI Jetta. And I love it's my second one. I love the car. Um, do you recommend them? Absolutely, they're great cars. 
and TDIs are offered in a variety of different VW and Audi vehicles. So you can, you know, you could go with uh, a Jetta, a sort of more economical car. You could go with an upscale Audi. Uh, so there's there's a variety of vehicles you can have that engine in. Um, they've always been reliable, you know, and that's really important when you buy a diesel. I mean, you, you don't want to buy a crappy diesel. It, a few decades ago, the Americans rushed and brought out a few diesel engines that were just absolute junk. And uh, there are some other ones out there that are not so good. So you want to buy a good diesel because they cost a lot to fix. Um, you know, one advantage of diesel is the direct fuel injection system. And, and now a lot of gasoline-powered cars use direct fuel injection. So the fuel economy advantage they used to get with the diesel is not quite there as much. Uh, you know, there's gasoline creeping up close. So. You know, if you're looking to buy a new car and you're thinking of a TDI, I mean, you might want to crunch the numbers, look at the prices, and see if you want to do it. But overall, if you're looking for a good diesel vehicle, definitely highly recommend a Volkswagen TDI. And uh, if you own one, we're happy to service them too. We do uh, lots of work on them, and uh, we can fix them well. Great. So we've been talking with Mr. Bernie Pollock of Pollock Automotive. They're a 12 times voted best auto repair in Vancouver by their customers. So if you want a trusted place to get your auto, your sweet babies looked after, this is where to take them. Give Bernie a call at 604-327-7112 or go to their great website, pollockautomotive.com. Thanks, Bernie. Thanks, Mark. We'll talk to you again soon. You bet.